Todd Dunn here on May 1st, 2019. Today I'm at Ocean House Boat uh, Storage and Transport and I'm going to video the launching of the cat boat behind me, Petunia. So what's going to happen is they're going to come in here and pick the boat up with the uh, Brownell hydraulic trailer, take it over to the shore next to the boat ramp, step the mast, and put the boat in the water and you're going to see it all today let's get going i think i hear the truck outside all right here comes the truck backing in he's going to just be doing a little maneuvering at first to get it lined up and he's going to go under the boat You can see the split fork on the truck. These trailers have an air ride suspension so he can raise and lower the trailer. Here he goes, pulling in. And he'll pull in and then get her lined up. And they're dropping the trailer down and coming back a little further. And they'll back up until they're right up against that stand in the back. Okay. He may pull out and try again. He's just saying he wants to move the boat a little bit toward the... No, no, they're just backing in a little further. You can see the rectangular holes in the trailer are where the oak beams slide in to go under the boat. There he goes, backing up a little more. Getting her lined up. And yeah, it's about as far as he wants to go. Yeah, he's still working on getting it straight. Now the hydraulic pads will come up to uh, keep the boat from tilting while they're moving it. You can see them coming up and back. And these pads do not support the boat. When the boat is being moved, it sits on the oak beams that they slide in underneath. So that is what supports the boat. The pads are just there to steady it so the boat won't uh, rock from side to side. Okay. Now this boat's small, so they're pretty much going to rely on the aft pads. And they're just adjusting the trailer as they get ready to put the oak beams in. And here they go with a, an oak beam, which will go underneath. And they're actually going to set this on top 
because this boat is, block, is blocked pretty high and they can't raise the trailer enough to support it there. I think they're just going to move some blocking actually. Yep, and he's crawling under there to pull blocking out. He's got a remote control for the trailer, so. Now he's got the front of the boat supported on that beam there as he raises it up and repositions the blocking so that he can get a cross beam under the boat. Okay, they've taken that uh, block and it's now coming through the trailer. And they're going to be able to lift it off the blocking in just a second. Okay, he's just positioning some additional blocking on top of the cross beam because this boat, being a small boat, is uh, blocked up pretty high. He's raising the aft pads to support the boat to keep it from rocking back and forth. And there. Uh, they've raised the boat up. A little bit more and it'll be off the blocking. Yeah, he's pulled the stand out. So she's on the trailer. So what remains is just uh, to make sure the boat's going to be steady while they drive it the half mile over to the shore. And they're going to put some plastic bags over these front pads before they run them up against the side of the boat uh, just to keep uh, the boat from being marked by them. And she's ready to pull out pretty much. And that's basically what's involved in getting a boat like this on the Brownell trailer. And there goes the pad. And they'll just run it up there to keep the boat stable while it's on the trailer. Yeah, the next step will be to load the mast on the boom truck. And then they'll head over to the boat ramp where they'll step the mast and launch the boat. And here she goes out of the shed. And the bilge pump is working. That's water that he ran into the inside of the boat while he was test running the engine. Now while they're uh, loading the mast on the boom truck, 
I'm going to make a few last minute adjustments to the throttle cable on this boat. And I'm going to go up and uh, do a quick walk around and show you exactly how the boat is supported on the trailer. Okay, here's how she's loaded on. You can see the oak beam that goes across between the two parts of the trailer. And because this is a small boat and they have to get it up high enough that it doesn't sit on the wheels, they had to add some additional blocking, which is just tied to the cross beam. And the boat sits on that. And these oak beams are what actually support the weight of the boat. The hydraulic pad here is just there to stabilize the boat. It doesn't take any significant weight. Walk up forward. They've got, again, this is a small boat, so the forward pad is just touching the boat, and that's just to keep it from moving. And here, we've got the forward blocking, and again, to get the boat up high enough, they put a big block on top of the cross beam. And the cross beams slide in through these square openings. And as you can see, there are quite a few of them, so they have lots of options about where to put them. And they can put several of them in. I know when they do my boat, Tortuga, they use three cross beams to support the boat so that none of the spans will be very long. And as I said, the reason they put the extra blocking in is so that the hull right here, which is only maybe six inches above those tires, will not be too low and touch the tires. I'm going to do a quick walk around on this boat. You can see it's named Petunia. It stays in Somme Sound, Maine. And typical large rudder. Looks like it's starting to open up a little bit. A lot of that gap will probably close up when it's in the water and the planking swells. And see she's got the usual big cockpit, pretty good sized cabin house for this size boat. And she obviously has a, a wood stove down there because there's a Charlie Noble on it. Very beamy boat for its size and very shoal draft and it has a big centerboard plate that will come down. I'll back off a little. Little bowsprit there and just after the bowsprit on deck you can see where the mast will drop in and as you can see it's a pretty big diameter mast and I'm sure this is a solid wood mast and but not very long that goes into here and in a little while when we get over to the ramp we will see the uh, stepping of the mast and the rigging of the boat. This is a full service storage boat so it will be completely uh, rigged and ready to go when they put it in the water. One thing, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's still water in the boat from trying to get it to swell up. And if you watch here, you see water dripping off the bottom of the keel. So she's still got a ways to go to be completely swelled up. And uh, I expect that once they put her in the water, the bilge pumps are going to come on pretty quickly. While I'm waiting for them to uh, head over to launch the boat, I want to take a look at the uh, trailer setup a little more. And there's the upper part. And here, on either side, there's a hydraulically operated wheel that can be lowered down onto the ground. And the purpose of that is some boats that have deep draft, they have to uh, disconnect the trailer from the truck and let it out into the water. So when they do that, they drop those wheels for the front of the trailer to ride on. And this drum winch here is what they use to lower the trailer into the water. They take the cable, attach it to the front of the trailer where those pins are, disconnect the electrical, and back the trailer down. And then the boat will float off and they're good to go and they can pull the trailer back out of the water. 
the whole procedure of disconnecting the trailer and backing it down is very quick. They're not going to do it for this boat because it's too small. But they do it sometimes with my sailboat, Sequester, because I have five foot draft and the trailer has to get out a little bit uh, to get the boat to float off. It depends a bit on how steep the ramp is, how often they have to do that. And I can hear the boom truck with the mast coming, I believe. So I'll step out and take a look at that. Here's the mast on the boom truck, ready to go in. And down below is the boom. And I think that next to the boom on the other side, there's probably a gaff, because I can see the gaff jaws there. So I'm gonna walk around and we'll take a look. Here's the mast on the boom truck. Here's the bottom of the mast, the foot of it, and you can see it's got a key to fit into the mast step inside the boat. And go up here. And this is a gaff rig. The uh, gaff is right there, and behind it, I don't know if you can see it, is the boom. And at the very least today, they're gonna put the boom and the gaff on. And are they going to put sail on too? Um, eventually, yeah. Today? Possibly. Ah, I'm asking the rigger right now. Uh, He's the one that would know. You're on the 